My commitment and obsession is always to be better today than I was yesterday. If I have to make sacrifices to do that, so be it. If I have to tell that person I can't go out drinking with him anymore, so be it. Because that's not what I value. Anything or anyone that is taking me further away from my dreams has to go. I'm committed to self-development, not self-destruction. And you know, any person that is meant to be with me on the journey will choose that higher road with me. Yes, a tougher road, but it's a much more rewarding one. I want my life to mean something, to be able to look back at my life and say, yeah, I made some tough decisions, but they were the right decisions. So many people don't get it. They piss their life away every weekend for what? So they can complain about their current circumstances for the rest of the week? Screw that. No chance. I'm in charge of my own life. It's all on me. I take responsibility, I take action, and I get shit done. You will never hear me complain about another person or circumstance as the reason I'm not where I want to be. If I don't like where I am, time to knuckle down and work harder. I am a perfect reflection of the hard work or lack of work I put in. And luck, that only comes to those who have paid their dues. If I am weak in a certain area, it won't be for long because I'm committed to be better. I will learn, I will read, I will make it happen. I will find a way. I will work until that weakness is turned into a strength. No one can beat me because I don't give up. I'm relentless. You might knock me down, but I never stay down. It's time to rise. Rise up to your potential. Rise up past your limitations. Rise up past your family or friends' limitations. Set the standard for those around you. Don't conform to the standard like a sheep. Get out and lead the way. Get up. Rise up. Man up. Your comfort zone is your enemy. One of the biggest ironies I can think of is when you live life trying to stay comfortable, life will send you more and more discomfort. It's true, life will send you more and more problems, life will keep throwing rocks at you, life will keep handing you resistance, struggles, issues. And because people are so concerned about staying comfortable instead of growing and reaching higher, because people don't want to address their limitations and move beyond them, they keep struggling. Listen, you are not here on this planet to sip apple martinis on the beach and get yourself a tan. You are here to grow. And if you won't make yourself uncomfortable, life will give you plenty of reasons to push you out your comfort zone. So you have one of two options. Either you commit to constant growth and feeling discomfort upon your own accord and you become the master of your own destiny or you hand over the keys and you let life happen to you by default. One path leads to success and the other path leads you to constant struggle and pain. It's your choice. You think Steve Jobs started Apple feeling comfortable about it? You think top athletes sleep their way to high performance? You think Oscar winning actors procrastinate their way to achievement? No! So then why are you giving into wasting time with Netflix marathons, into chronic procrastination? Why are you running to the bar the moment your best friend texts you to come out? You have got to be willing to make the hard decision. You've got to be willing to feel uncomfortable, to feel awkward, to face rejection, to fail, to feel pressure. You've got to be willing to face those things because that's what's necessary for you to grow. How many times have you looked at your life and said, man, if only I knew then what I know now, I live my life so differently, so is it not possible then that the life you are living now, you would be living differently if you began to develop an awareness that you do not currently have? 
Well, guess what? The only way for you to develop knowledge and awareness is to try things you have not yet tried, to do things you have not yet done, to create things you have not yet created, to go to places you have not yet explored. This is how you grow. That is how you become the person who is worthy of sitting on the beach with their favorite drink. Life rewards you with those experiences after you do the work. There is a real price to success and life collects the payments. And let me tell you something, life does not accept payment plans. Life does not let you get away with experiencing things that you have not yet earned. Your sacrifice must be paid up front and in full. And that is the only way you are going to achieve the life that you want. So I strongly suggest that you begin to pay with your discomfort. I strongly suggest that you start making those calls, that you start approaching that person, that you start practicing kindness and compassion over jealousy and greed, that you confront your anxiety, that you hit the gym, that you study harder, that you jump higher, that you begin waking up early, even if you're not a morning person, that you destroy your procrastination, that you start doing the things that you know within your heart that you should have started doing a long time ago, so you can start to build the experiences and the knowledge that you need to succeed that is what I suggest to you and don't listen to this as a voice on a video over some music listen to this as a direct sign a direct message that life is giving to you to wake you up to help you acknowledge your own greatness it's time it's time for you to get uncomfortable it's time for you to start dreaming again and start going after what was always yours but what you've ignored for far too long and I promise when you push yourself into discomfort, your friends will take notice, your colleagues will take notice, your family will take notice, life will take notice, and life will begin to back you up. Life will begin to support you and open doors for you and introduce you to the people who will take you to the next level, but you have got to take the first step. So take it, take it and watch your life explode into greatness, watch new levels of the game unfold for you, watch you develop into the person who you have always wanted to become. It's all waiting for you outside of your comfort zone. Go for it. I made it, not because of A, B, or C. I made it because of me. I made it not because I had no obstacles, not because I suffered no setbacks, not because everything went right. I made it despite the obstacles, despite the huge challenges. I made it because I got fight. I made it, not because I stepped on others to get there. I made it because I helped others, because I know the truth that lies in the statement. Help enough people, get what they want, and the world will give you what you want. Add value, get rewarded. I made it, because the fires inside of me were stronger than the storms outside of me. I made it, because my appetite to learn and grow every day. I'm not content with okay living. I'm not content with expectations of others. I've got my own expectations. I've got my own standing. I'm not okay with average. I'll leave that crap for someone else. I expect more out of life. I deserve more and I will get more. I made it because I made no excuse. If something goes wrong, it's all on me. All on me to find a solution. All on me to find a way to win, regardless of the circumstances. I made it, you didn't, you made excuses, I didn't, I grew, you didn't, I sacrificed, you didn't, you made excuses, I didn't. I didn't quit because you said I couldn't make it, I made it because you said I couldn't. I use your negativity as fuel. I made it despite you. I didn't get lucky, I made my own luck. Only the successful will understand that. The weak believe in luck. The successful believe in whatever it effing takes. I didn't make it because I had the magic pill. I made it because I was willing to kill. Because I got real. Real with myself. Real with responsibility. Real with belief. Real with work. Hard work. Not talking, but doing. Not lip service, 
but real purple. Hard working, always working, never resting, never settling, never stopping. There's not one reason, there's many. I can tell you the secret is simply called hard work. I made it, you didn't. You made excuses, I didn't. I grew, you didn't. I sacrificed, you didn't. You made excuses, I didn't. It's not easy going it alone, but if you keep going, stay true to yourself. It will be worth it in the end. The hardest walk you can make is the walk you make alone. But that is the walk that makes you the strongest. That is the walk that builds your character the most. To all of you fighting battles alone, to all of you going against the grain, battling the naysayers, stay strong, keep going. Stay strong, keep going. This walk is hard, but the hardest walks lead to the greatest destinations. The toughest climbs always lead to the best views. It will be worth it in the end. And if you show what you are made of, the right people will show up in your life. You won't be a lone wolf forever. You have qualities only few can admire because most don't possess. You have strength only few can understand because most have never experienced. So don't give in. Don't settle. Don't lower your expectations to fit into the world. You were born to stand out. You were born to lead. Lead the pack. They say the wolf on the hill is never as hungry as the wolf climbing the hill. Always be that wolf climbing the hill. Always hungry for more. Always hungry to grow, to feed your mind and rise to the highest level you can take yourself. Never looking back, always looking forward to the next feast, feast of success in whatever you do. It does not matter if you have to walk alone for a while. It is much better to walk alone in the right direction than to follow the herd walking in the wrong direction. Stay strong. Be different. Your destiny is in your hands. Get out there and hunt it.
have learned that nothing good comes without work and a certain amount of pain. Pain is the feeling of weakness leaving your body. There is no better way to fight weakness than with strength. I used to fight the pain, but the pain is not my enemy. It is my calling to greatness. It all comes down to how bad you want. How hard are you willing to work to achieve what it is you want? You must work on yourself. Model the greats. Commit to something every single day that puts you in a positive state of mind. Don't waste time with meaningless things. You deserve greatness, and if you work for it, you will get it. I demand success. Success and nothing less. I will achieve success. I will never settle for anything less. I will work harder than the rest. I will challenge the best. I will fight through any of life's pets. It's easy to give up when times are hard. It's easy to settle for an average life. It's easy to just go with the flow and do what's comfortable. Those who do what's easy are never remembered. It's supposed to be hard. If it were easy, everyone would do it. Keep your mouth shut and work. Let your success make the noise. There are no excuses. There are no shortcuts. There are only sacrifices that need to be made. It doesn't matter who's doubting, hating, or hoping you fail. Just keep working, believing, and pursuing what you want the most. I am not blessed because everything went right. I'm blessed because I got fight. When challenges come up, I don't say why me. When tough times arrive, I never think why did this happen to me? I say, how can I use this? I say, what can I gain from this? How can I ensure that I improve my life so this doesn't happen again? That's my blessing. Not what I've got to work with, but how I work with what I got. Not that I was headed my dreams, but that I had enough fight in me, that I had enough belief in me to go after my dream that I had the courage to keep going, to push through the pain, to rise through the darkness, and to tell my story on the other side. My story. My blessed story. It doesn't matter where you are in life. If you don't feel blessed, you won't be blessed. You gotta appreciate what you have inside you before you can see the gifts outside of you. You gotta know your worth before you can be worth anything. You gotta know you're great before anyone else will see the greatness within you. You gotta feel blessed before you will be blessed. Today could be the day. Are you ready to commit? Are you ready for greatness? Life can be brutal. Life can be unforgiving. If I had to sum up in one word the difference between the greats and the average, the difference between the successful and the nobodies of the world, one word, one attribute to describe the difference, discipline. If you don't have the discipline, you can forget about the trophy. You can forget about the success, the greatness. All champions have discipline. It's the discipline to work hard. You know, not when everyone is watching, but when no one is watching, 
when the fans aren't there, when the coach isn't there, when it's just you and your character. The discipline to eat strong, healthy foods, when you have other tempting options, when those around you might not be so strong. The discipline to say no, when those around you choose to be average. The discipline to keep going when it hurts. Because life doesn't give you what you want. It gives you what you deserve. And if you haven't worked for it, if you haven't sacrificed for it, if you haven't given your all, then you don't deserve it. And you won't get it. Push through the pain. On the other side is growth. When pain comes, that means it's time to show character. Show me your character. Remain disciplined. Stay strong. When it all seems hopeless, keep plugging away. Nothing can stop you if you don't stop for anything. Don't stop for anything. Never break your discipline. Remain faithful to yourself and your vision. When it gets painful, push harder. Push through the pain. You gotta have the discipline to do 11 when your opponent stops at 10. The discipline to keep going when it hurts. Because life doesn't give you what you want. It gives you what you deserve. And if you haven't worked for it, if you haven't sacrificed for it, if you haven't given your all, then you don't deserve it. And you won't get it. Show your character. Remain disciplined. Stay strong. Don't say why the pain. Don't say why me. Say try me. Say is that all you've got? Give me more. Keep plugging away when there seems to be no hope of victory. When you don't see the results. Hang in there. Be strong. Be brave. Remain disciplined. And your time will come. Are you going to be a lion or a sheep? The king of the jungle or another insignificant number in the herd? A leader or a follower? Do you even lift? Do you even lift? Do you even grind? It ain't been easy. An epic rocky road. In the toughest of moments. Flipped on beast mode. Now it is different. Now it's my day. Rise up, grind out, I will find a way. The easiest thing to do is give up. The hardest thing is to keep going when the chips are down. To keep pushing when things are hard. Oh yeah, it's easy to put on the happy face when everything is going well. What about when you are facing pain, defeat, failure? What have you got inside? Have you got the strength to carry on? Do you have the will to fight back? Body screams no more. Soul says cut the chitter chatter. I came to live and grow. Nothing else matters. You've been wrong before, body. You said I had limitations till I pushed you past them and exceeded expectations. Now I'm telling you something. It's time to push. It's time to grow. It's time to unleash my friend. His name is Beast Mode. 
you see everyone wants to be a beast. That is, until it comes time to do what real beasts do. Real beasts work harder than anyone else. They rise earlier, they go down later, they push harder. They give more and they get more. Real beasts don't take shit from nobody. Please forgive me, Jim, for I will abuse this iron. I flick the switch, now you sound the siren. Begging and clanging, dominate this day. Ultimate goal, better than yesterday. You are not doing anyone any favors by dropping down to the level of the average human. You do not want average. You are anything but average. It's time for discipline, sacrifice and determination. No more will I settle. Nothing short of domination. Focus. Focus. Time to grow. Unreasonably strong. Unreasonably dedicated. Unreasonably committed. Hustle harder. Be better than your competition. You better bet your ass there are people out there trying to take your spot. Work harder. If they do 10, you do 11. If they get up at 6, you get up at 5. Are you going to be a lion or a sheep? The king of the jungle or another insignificant number in the herd? A leader or a follower? A respected boss or slave to a boss? You see, a sheep is someone who expects the things he wants to be given to him. A lion is someone who goes out and hunts for the things he wants. You are the captain of your fate, the master of your soul, the boss of your dreams, the king of your goals. You can have, be, and do anything. You just gotta believe. One day will be your day, then you will achieve. I am machine, I am beast. On this iron, I will feast. The truth is, I know within my heart, I have what it takes. Many have come before me with less and achieved more. Many have reached the peak of success. And now, now it's my turn. Machine, beast, iron, feast. Rise and grind, yeah baby. Live your dreams, be fearless. Why is it we don't believe in ourselves? Why is it that as soon as things get tough in our lives, we start doubting ourselves? We start thinking that we may not make it through. Stressing, worrying, imagining things that may go wrong in the future. I'll tell you the human mind is powerful, but it can also be destructive. It can be your greatest friend or your worst enemy. The person you see reflecting in the mirror will always provide you your greatest challenges in life. Take control of your life. Control of your mind. Conquer yourself. And you can conquer anything in this world. Yes, it's easy to be positive when everything is going your way. But are you going to be one of the very few who stand up when things are tough? When everything is going against you? That's when you must show yourself. That's when your character will shine through. That's when your story will be born. Your story of success. You ain't building no story if you give up. The world is full of people who gave up. The world needs hope. The world needs you to stand up. To fight through your challenging moments. To shine through the darkness. Believe in yourself. There is nothing more important. Stay home. Hungry for success. Hungry for more. Most people are bloated with ordinary. They are full of average. 
have an appetite for extraordinary. There will always be doubters. But if you stay true to yourself and believe, then one day will be your moment. Remember, anything is possible if you believe. Keep your dreams alive. Understand that in order for you to have anything of great value, you must suffer and endure. You are destined for success! this world will tap you on the shoulder and whisper, it's your time to shine. Dear hard work, I used to hate you. When you called my name, I heard it but ran away from you. When I knew you were coming, I used to hide from you. When you influenced others to talk to me, I quickly made excuses to get away from you. Afraid of the pain because I didn't want to get hurt. Afraid to fail, so I didn't even try. And afraid of your name because of what you have done to others. Who do you think you are? Making me so afraid of who you are. Reflection in the mirror, Shadow behind me, I take one step and you're still ahead of me. Sweat in my face, tears in my eyes. I keep on going, I heard you tell no lies. You turn the poor to rich, F to A's. Is there anything that you can't do? Now look at me, you made me who I am today. And because of you, I have this never losing, never giving up attitude. Quitting? That's not in my vocabulary. When they quit, I keep going. When they sleep, I work harder. When they say that I can't and count me out, I show them that I can. When I tell them about my dreams and they laugh, I make sure I laugh last. I'm a dream chaser. That means I chase my dream and no one else's. Only I can defeat me. It's me against this work you put on me. There's no losing. I will not lose. Stop it now. Hard work. My dad was right about you. You do pay off. And because of that, I love you. How can I not? I'm no longer hiding from you. I'm waiting for you. Matter of fact, 
Where are you? I need you. Because in hard work, I trust. The most frustrated man on the planet Earth is not the poorest. Neither is he a man without money, cars, or a house. A frustrated man is he without a true sense of purpose. Add money, cars, and all the luxuries that you can think of. I have no life, no purpose. I have no dream to fulfill the reason why I was born. Today I have a question for you. Why are you here? Why were you born in the first place? The truth is, what is your true purpose in life? You were born to succeed. You were created to fulfill something that no one else except you. You are God's own idea and he believes in you. I don't care. The greatest casualty of life is not found among blacks. The greatest casualty of life is not found among the whites, the Indians, or is it a colored race? The number one casualty of life is found in the land of fear. Yes. In the land of fear, because in the land of fear, people die before their real death. There's no happiness in the land of fear. There's no joy in the land of fear. There are no dreams in the land of fear, because those with dreams, ideas, and potentials are being held as captives because of fear. Fear will imprison you. Fear not. Be of courage. Be strong. Don't give up. Don't give in. You don't need to be tall to overcome your fears. You don't need your family members to overcome your fears. You need courage and persistence to stand and take charge of your destiny. Courage is not the absence of fear. Courage is not pride. Courage is there's fear that I'm willing to die. Courage is when others say no, you say yes. Courage is when others quit, you keep going. Courage is when you keep climbing the ladder of success when others are standing down. Courage is when you adopt the character of a lion that says I can. Courage is when you go for what is just in the universe. Courage is when you stand and fight. Courage is when the going becomes tough, the tough must get going. I know some of you are tired of being victims, tired of being told you can't achieve your dreams. You want to achieve your goals, that the things in life you want to do, you can't do. That the things you want in life are unreachable. I know you are tired of hearing that. That is why I'm talking to you today. Because today, 
I want you to fight back. Fight back for what you believe in. Fight back for what you want to achieve. Fight for your dreams, fight for your goal. Sometimes you're not just fighting for yourself. Sometimes you're fighting for your friends. Sometimes you're fighting for your family. Make certain you fight back. Yes, I know. They told you, you can't do this. You might as well give up. You will never achieve what you set out to achieve. Well, that's the thing about greatness, about being a champion. No one expected you to make it, but you go out and do it anyway. Prove them wrong. Prove them wrong. Greatness is not just about the money. It's about the achievements. It's about doing something that others doubted. It's about listening to the doubters, then making them eat their own words. And you can do it. I guarantee you can do it. If you put 100% in, today is the day you do it. Today is the day you succeed. Today is the day you prevail. Today is the day you walk over your enemies. And you reach that moment in your life where you become that person that others can look to, to say, he went through it, she went through it, and I can do it. We feed off each other, and we look up to someone that's great like they're special, but they're just like you. You've got that greatness inside of you. So get that greatness that's been inside of you all along. Get it to come out. And the only way to do it is to take one step you take one step towards your goals. You take one step towards your dreams. Take one step in the forward direction. Make sure everything you do, you try to reach greatness. You're trying to succeed. You are putting your best effort forward every day. Not just today, but every day. Fight back every day. Today and every other day. tell you, nothing beats character and nothing beats hard work. Not today, nor any other day. I already know what giving up feels like I wanna see what happens if I don't All our dreams can come true If we have the courage to pursue them Limitations? There are no such thing as limitations The only thing holding you back is yourself Your own views of what is and what is not possible Your own standards of the greatness you want to achieve your desire to sacrifice more than your competition, your belief in yourself. It might be hard, but it is much harder living a life less than your expectations. Do you think you have what it takes to achieve greatness? Do you have what it takes to push yourself to another level, to push yourself to your peak every single day? You do. I know it, you know it, the world knows it. You just have to decide Decide to be better, decide to have greater standards in all areas of your life. Get up early, stay up later. You did not wake up this morning to be mediocre. Believe in yourself, show your true courage, show your true heart. You can do this. Get it done. There are no more excuses. Excuses don't live here no more. Excuses aren't invited to this party. Excuses are a virus. Get them out of your life. If you believe, Anything is possible. Guess what? Anything is possible. Mark this day in your diary because today is the day everything changed. Today you put everyone else on notice. Today you said, I will no longer accept mediocrity. I will no longer accept a life that is less than I deserve. I will no longer accept anything less than the greatness that is within me. Today I will make better decisions. Today I will push myself. Today is my day. You better believe it. Responsibility is where you live. 
responsibility, accountability, and pure hard work. There is nothing more satisfying than making it on your own terms. You are self-made. Everything you are has come to you from your actions. Now take bigger actions, epic action. Push yourself beyond previous limitations. Be fearless. The world is your playground and you only get one shot. Make it count. Are you gonna live this day as if it is your last? Your last shot to make something of yourself. Give your all, show your heart, show your drive. Push yourself to the absolute limit. You will succeed. Set your goals, your craziest ever goals, the greatest dreams you have for your life. If you believe it's possible, you can achieve the impossible. Believe in yourself, you can do it. No limits, no boundaries, no doubts. Respect is not given, it is earned. I don't need an alarm clock. My goals wake me. My desire wakes me. My purpose wakes me. I don't need haters to fuel my fire. My purpose is my fire. Sacrifice now. Enjoy later. Push hard now. Relax later. Unleash the beast. I don't need other opinions. I have my own opinion. I have my own heart. I have my own dream. Cowards never start. We never finish. Strong never quit. Make it happen. They said I changed. Maybe they were just jealous because they didn't change. Maybe they were ashamed because they didn't change. Maybe they were disappointed in themselves that they remained the same. <laughs> yeah, I changed. Like anyone with ambition will remain the same. Yeah, I changed. I changed everything but my name. I wasn't born a miracle to be average. I have absolutely no desire to fit in. No desire to conform to anyone's wishes, but I have every desire within myself to improve myself every day, every hour, every minute. They'll say you didn't have enough time for them. <laughs> well, maybe they weren't worth your time. They laughed at my dreams and my goals. <laughs> well, maybe they were embarrassed because they didn't have any. Maybe their dreams were really nightmares. Maybe their lives was really just a horror story. They said that I was arrogant. Maybe they just hated my ambition. Maybe they were too ashamed because they had none themselves. Maybe I reminded them of what their weakness is. They said I wouldn't make it to the top. Listen, they said I couldn't make it full stop. They said I would fail, that I would fall, that, that, that no one would believe in me. They gave me so many reasons. But they forgot to ask about my desire. They never asked about my willingness to sacrifice. They never asked if I was willing to do whatever it took to make it. Maybe if they did, they would have kept quiet. Or maybe they wanted to ensure they had someone to sit with them at the bottom of the mountain. You know, with the majority of the people that didn't put in the work. Those who didn't have the courage, those who didn't have the drive, those who didn't have the will or the passion to fight for their dreams, to sacrifice or even to conquer. Maybe they were afraid because they didn't have what it takes. What it takes to keep up with my drive, to go toe to toe with my passion. You know, they say that you'll never make time for them. Well, maybe you only make time for the people that are worth your time. And since there's a lack of those type of people, maybe they're not that type of person. You know, somebody once told me, it's better to be hated for what you are than to be loved for what you're not. 
You know, it's better to walk alone and be successful than to walk with those that are wandering aimlessly through life and end up in the middle of nowhere. But it's okay, because when my circle got smaller, my drive got bigger. When my circle got smaller, my vision got larger. When my circle got smaller, my circle got stronger. The proof is always in the pudding. You can't fake results. I move on without them. I know I'm stronger. I know I'm better. I know that I'm greater. Without them, it's a blessing. Without them, I keep on growing, moving forward. I'm constantly on the move without them. You're not a puddle. Stop letting them walk all over you. You're not a doormat. Stop letting them wipe their dirt on your face. You're not below them. Don't let them look down on you. Listen, stand tall, walk strong, and hold your own. Listen to me, there is no one above or below you. There is no one that is superior or inferior to you. You must always remain hungry. Don't ever, ever lose your passion or your compassion. Listen to me, you have enormous drive, but don't lose your humility. Put yourself in their shoes, but don't live in them. Live your life. Let them live theirs. Go after your dreams and let them decide their own fate. You said that I would never make it in life. You said I would fail. You said that I would humiliate myself. I didn't have it in me. I was no good. I wouldn't succeed. You said I was weak. You said I was not strong. I guess they didn't know what I knew that I would make it, maybe not immediately, but absolutely and definitely. The difference between winning or losing, the difference between those who do it and those who don't make it in life, and listen to me, it isn't about talent. It isn't about any type of magical formula. The difference is character. It is your human spirit. And if you're going to make it in this world, living out your dreams or living out your nightmares, it is completely up to what you do. It all comes down to you.